I'm Dee Snyder, and you're watching My Long Island on Fios 1. Yeah. The 841 East Lounge is a venue for private events and nightlife for Long Island. On Wednesday nights, we host an event called Live Art Fusion. Um, we bring in different act of jazz performing amongst artists that are simultaneously painting on canvases. So the artists are inspired by the music, the music inspires the artists, and the audience interacts and enjoys an evening fun filled with food, drink, and all kinds of specialties. It seemed that uh, Long Island needed some new form of entertainment, a slight variation on the existing fair that was available out there. And as a lover of art and a lover of live jazz fusion, I, I couldn't resist putting the two together. We have about uh, 40 or 45 artists that have uh, participated in Live Art Fusion uh, in the last uh, nine months or so, and we usually get uh, 12 to 14 uh, per week, and uh, we, we've developed a, a nice little uh, community of, of artists and musicians who have um, gotten accustomed to working together uh, in the last nine months. My band is Fusion Collective and we play jazz, funk, fusion. It's all groove-based instrumental music and I play conga drums. My hands have a mind of their own and I can't stop them sometimes. When I work in my studio, I'm always playing music, um, particularly jazz. I have about 150 jazz records that I like to play while I paint. Tonight I was just going to have some fun and just paint a portrait of a, a fictional character, just a sketch I did last night. And there's no background to it, it's just a, a sketch I doodled um, in my sketchbook that I then drew larger on a, a piece of watercolor paper with some charcoals. And I'm just going to paint it tonight, it's uh, just, just for fun, it's just a face, head and shoulders. The music and the people around is definitely inspiring. It's, it feels so much better than just painting at home with no one around me. I always was envious of uh, musicians being able to do that craft in front of people. So this is kind of uh, the artist's chance to uh, do the same. My style totally was different in the beginning. Um, and then I kind of adapted the way I like to paint with, uh, with the new, new way of doing it. Tonight there's an Aries male and there's a Capricorn female. So. Um, that they're married and I'm just doing um, their love um, on the canvas. And they're coming tonight so they get to watch it. Uh, so that's fun. It's a fun date night, you know. Some people go to a dinner and a movie and some people watch their painting come to life while listening to awesome music and looking at art of other excellent artists. <laughs> I do a lot of plain air painting, which is painting outdoors in natural light, and you're subject to the movement of the sun, so you don't have a lot of time to paint. Here, they've got a set that goes theoretically around an hour, but it could be less or it could be more, so the challenge is really on. It's a, a challenge, and it's a blast. It's exhausting. I'm gonna put out the paint, keep the paint moist, and I'm gonna actually let my body start to dance with the music and see what comes out of my hand. Today, rather going on canvas, I'm gonna use paper and basically focus on shapes and shapes that will um, kind of pull from the sound because everything has a certain vibration and you can break it down to simplified shapes. In feng shui, we have, for example, five elements. The earth element is known as a square. Fire can be a triangle. So that's how you can start to create those vibrations and then how you um, place it on the paper itself and then colors, it goes beyond anything. <laughs> Most of the time it's a solitary business to, to be creating art and listening to music and everything and just going with the rhythm of the beat. It's kind of exciting to do it that way. I'm more of an abstractionist. Uh, I see through my eyes, but what it comes through my hands is something entirely different. It's design, it's shapes and sizes, colors and things like that. So if you're looking for a mem uh, Monet, you're not going to get it from me. 
<laughs> it's like a box of chocolates, right? You know, we never know where we're gonna get they, the downbeat. Come, you know, Mike, the band leader, calls the downbeat, and it's like we just. It's like a voyage. We never know what we're gonna, we're just happy we get to the end.